Brendan Bernstein, runner-up to Tony Schumacher in 2006, his only Indy final round. And in the other lane, well, that's Corey Mack. It's a debut of uh, this in-house built car at Don Schumacher Racing. Well, let's take a look at a mega mo shot of a top fuel burnout with 600 frames per second. Look at the throttle blades. I mean, just barely crack it. They're in the water, and look how much those tires just stand up and start building that heat, get them smoking, the cylinders. You see each side has got at least one cylinder out. There's no load on the engine. That is normal. They'll do burnouts on five or six cylinders without any problem. So this is the second round of Top Fuel, starting with Brandon Bernstein and Corey McLenathan. That car is going to turn more blue and white next year, Brandon in the cockpit. Good race. Oh, fire over there on Corey McLenathan. Brandon Bernstein takes the win, 388 with a second. Kenny Bernstein, he just turned 65 yesterday, announced that new sponsor. Looks like Corey's okay. He got the bottles uh, for the firefighting foam hitting pretty quick. Yeah, he lit her up pretty good. And uh, Corey ooh, got a little warm there, man. He's jumping out of there, making sure uh, he's not uh, burning there. Looks like he, everything's okay, but he definitely got uh, warm from that one. And let me tell you, when you get a top field dragster and you get warm with the engine behind you, that's a pretty big fire when it comes in the cockpit. And Corey Mack gets a little help on getting the helmet off. Let's look at this. This was just a good race. Uh, Brandon has slight advantage off the starting line, about a hundredth of a second, and then ran a little bit better on the other end because Corey was having problems down track, and they got worse as he got towards the finish. Look at the flame inside the cockpit. That's why Corey came out of that car, and uh, that can get pretty warm. And I remember one of the worst fires I ever had was in a top field dragster because the fire came forward and went into the cockpit, and boy, it gets your attention. You're used to it in a funny car. It doesn't happen in a top fuel dragster. So most of the fire was pushed out the front into the cockpit, and then some came around the backside of the engine. But that was a big fire. You know, as a driver, when you bring that thing to a stop, you're, even, if you, even if you think the thing's not on fire, your instinct is to get out of that car as quick as you can in case it is still on fire or in case it erupts again. That's just a normal thing for any driver. But take a look at it. I think you're going to see most of the fire. Yep, it pushes a head gasket out of the front of that engine. And what happens, the oil blows out there, so that directs a lot of the fire into the cockpit more so than out the back of the car. If you had to push the gasket out of the back of the engine, that fire probably would not have gotten into that cockpit. And and as a result of that, uh, Corey got a little bit warm. Wow, what great footage that is. And you see the uh, the vortices coming off of Brandon Bernstein's wing again as he went past. Out comes the shoot on Corey McLenathan's car. Yeah. And I don't know about you, Mike, but I don't think it's just a race driver's instinct. I see a big fire. I'm out of there. <laughs> well, one good thing with the fire going forward in the cockpit, it doesn't burn the parachute off because that does happen uh, from time to time. But that was just a big fire for a top field dragster. Kenny Bernstein watching from the start line. And um, with that, Tory Mack, he lost a spot in the uh, points. Bernstein went around him, picked up fourth. We'll show you top fuel points uh, just to give you another idea of where everything stands as they get Corey McLenathan off the track. Well, you see that. It shows you how good the safety is here. Antron Brown, he's number one. And when they reset the points for the playoffs, he will have the benefit of an extra 30 points over second place and all the way down to Clay Milliken who locked in his position. You see with that win, Brandon Bernstein passed Corey McLenathan for fourth place. Well, when we come back, we're going to have a chance to talk to that man, Corey McLenathan. Yeah, get a little, little damp towel. That'll help things. It's probably a little hot down on that steering wheel right now. Yeah, barely can touch that. That's so hot. That that metal steering wheel is so hot. So we'll find out about that and other stuff when we come back. We're back. The Mac Tools U.S. Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. Just moments ago, that was Corey McLenathan's fire with Mike Dunn, Gary Gerald, Dave Reef, and John Kernan. I'm Paul Page at this, the biggest event in drag racing at Indianapolis, the city that knows motorsports. 
Gasket comes out on the front side, and the fire goes forward and encircles the cockpit. And the great thing about that shot with that Mega Bowl, you can see the fire it actually firing the, that cylinder and pushing the flame out of the front of that head gasket. That was pretty cool. Let's just show them what the fire was like, G-Man. Yeah, we brought him over to the canopy here in the monitor. And, Corey, first of all, we can see on your fire suit here the burn marks. How hot was this situation as you look at it? You know, you, uh, for a second there, I thought I was driving a funny car. It's just one of those things where it looked like it shoved some oil out the front, and it definitely got in the driver's compartment pretty good. But I'm sure we'll be able to check out the in-car Jay's cam on that one and find out. But all the impact stuff did what it's supposed to do. It just wouldn't go away. You know, you're kind of looking through the forest to see where the trees are. And I didn't want to shut it off because we needed to be Brandon and Brandon got around us there. It's just one of those things where uh, going into the countdown, every single point counts. So, uh, this Pram Tough Guard Top Fuel Dragster, you know, that bit shoved that Valvoline out of there. But we're going to get it back on, on track here and uh, we'll be ready for the countdown. But all the impact stuff works. So, thanks, Safety Safari. Thank you very much. Does a driver ever get used to a scenario like this? No, because normally in a dragster, you don't have a scenario like that. You know, unless you're upside down going backwards or something silly. But it's it's just one of those things. It happens and uh, we'll, we'll figure out exactly what can the fire inside and we'll, we'll stop it from doing that. Glad you're all right. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, but you see all that discoloration on the suit? That's where it was doing its job in protecting him from the fire.